My name is Elena fidian and I'm Senior Research Officer here at the Oxford Department for International Development. In terms of the research that I'm focusing on at the moment, I'm doing a lot of research on South-South humanitarianism. And this is a term that I use to refer to the protection activities and assistance programmes which are led by Southern actors, whether these are states or non-governmental organisations, for example, for displaced populations within the Global South. There are a diversity of implications for South-South humanitarianism which mean that it's particularly important for us to undertake critical academic research into this area. On the one hand, for example, there is in fact increasing United Nations and Northern um, donor interest in South-South humanitarianism or in responses funded and implemented by Southern actors. And this is for a range of reasons, including as a result of the financial crises which have led to Northern um, donors having fewer financial resources available to allocate to aid. And therefore, um, Southern actors are increasingly being seen as um, being able to provide assistance and therefore to be able to share the burden, as it were, with Northern donors. So a second reason why this is important is because academics, practitioners and policymakers have often expressed concerns that uh, responses developed by non-Northern institutions may be motivated by political, ideological or faith-based motivations rather than adhering to the so-called international humanitarian principles of neutrality, uh, impartiality and universality as upheld by the International Committee for the Red Cross, for example. So the research focuses on two um, levels of analysis. First of all, a historical level, and secondly, a contemporary level. And this focus will allow us to develop an alternative understanding or conceptualization of the history of uh, humanitarianism, which goes beyond the Western dominant narratives regarding um, humanitarianism, and would also provide more space for Southern actors' perspectives to be included in this um, understanding of, of humanitarian response. On historical level, this will include tracing the development of a diversity of um, modes of responses, whether these are based on notions of brotherhood or solidarity or internationalist response to, to forced migration around the world, but also how these different modes of response have effectively been erased um, by dominant um, institutions and, and northern academics. On the contemporary level, this um, project is going to be exploring the range of southern responses to um, the ongoing um, Syrian conflict and the displacement resulting from this Syrian crisis. Since 2012, over two million people have been displaced by the um, conflict in Syria, with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees denominating this the most dramatic humanitarian situation that the world has faced since World War II. Civil society groups and faith-based organisations have provided a particularly important mode of response to the um, humanitarian crisis, often filling major gaps which have remained in spite of the United Nations-led humanitarian response. Such responses or such initiatives have included um, Lebanese and Jordanian citizens who have provided assistance and protection to those who have been displaced into their countries. They've also included refugees who have provided different kinds of support and assistance to, um, to those who have been displaced from Syria. And it's also included volunteer doctors, for example, from North Africa and Southeast Asia who have been um, attending to the medical needs of those who have been displaced in the region. So these initiatives are clearly very important and yet very little is known about how, how and why these initiatives have been developed by state and non-state actors, both in the context of Syria but also more broadly around the world. So the research aims to explore questions including what are the motivations behind these initiatives, who has benefited or who, um, which are the populations which have benefited but also been excluded from such responses and how have these responses actually been understood by a diversity of actors, whether these are um, northern observers or refugees themselves. Since so little is actually known about the implications of these southern-based uh, responses and southern-led responses, um, critical academic research is urgently needed um, at, at this point. Um, both with reference to, to Syria but also further afield. So ethnographic research with and about um, humanitarian responses led by southern actors in the Middle East will hopefully help us understand the ways in which um, refugees and displaced um, populations experience these responses um, and this will help us on an academic level but it will also hopefully help us um, develop um, policies and practices which more meaningfully address the needs and the rights of, um, of populations affected by displacement but also their hosts.